Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In front of us, Aprilia SR GT 125. So this is a 125cc machine. It is a scooter. It is made for the city use and uh, it looks just very modern, very aggressive, very Italian, I would say. It has a very nice and uh, quite big, I mean tall windscreen. It has very nice wheels in this sport uh, edition, in this sport uh, trim. I can say that uh, it looks just very, very stylish. So uh, the front wheel, it's a 14 one. The rear wheel, it's a 13 inch one. And um, it has both disc brakes. So just single at the front and single at the rear. What is also a very nice uh, thing on this one is that it also has these uh, blinkers that are LED and also the lights, I mean headlight and also the rear light, it's LED. So a very, very modern and stylish machine for uh, the city. Uh, otherwise, I have also to mention that it has also some features that are nowadays uh, almost uh, already standard and um, this is the start stop system. I am not a fan of this kind of features, but uh, we cannot do anything about it. Um, so the other feature that uh, I am a fan of, it is the socket, USB socket here inside. So this is a very useful thing when uh, you would like to uh, use your phone to recharge your phone. You just put it there and uh, insert the cable inside that socket and it really works. Here you can see you have the fuel tank so here you insert fuel and um, here you have the button uh, here you just can see it that opens the uh, seat. So under the seat there is not a huge uh, space I mean you can put some things and probably the open face helmet but uh, nothing more. Otherwise uh, this scooter it's more or less all about styling. If we are looking from the side we can see such colors like uh, yellow, red, black, gray and this color combo just works very very nicely and there is also a silver part down there so Italian style it's a very very refined one and uh, I am always impressed by their style so uh, I have to say that uh, this is a four stroke uh, this has uh, 15 horsepower producing this power at 8750 revs and uh, the peak torque the peak torque it's 12 newton meters at 6000 and half revs so it is not a very powerful machine but in line with all those scooters that are 125 centimeters uh, cubics so uh, nice very nice uh, mirrors not uh, too big and uh, very nice windshield like I mentioned previously it is quite tall in my opinion so it protects quite good the rider otherwise I have to say that um, the riding position on this one uh, in my opinion it's a good one uh, I will see it right now on the road and uh, it is also equipped with a center stand and with a side stand it has the electric ignition and uh, it is like I said a very nice and uh, useful city machine uh, it's not equipped only with one shock but it has two shocks as you can see what is really standing out guys on this one uh, are the tires because this one are uh, a bit of off-roadish in my opinion if we can look uh, closely to the type of the tires we can see it I have to mention also these foot pegs here that are very nicely designed 
to be part of the scooter so in line with the whole machine uh, the seat it's uh, a very uh, large one I mean big one uh, and it's not too soft it is soft but uh, not too much and uh, these are very nice grab rails here so uh, it is also comfortable for a billion otherwise I would like also to say that it's a quiet machine so uh, when you turn on the engine you almost cannot hear it let's check it so the scooter should be on the center stand and you should press the brake and then so it is a very very quiet machine in my opinion about the dash guys so uh, the dash it's a modern one it's not a TFT one but uh, it still looks very nice and it has a lot of information it offers a lot I mean the voltage of your battery temperature total mileage time it is a liquid cooled so here you have the temperature of the water coolant and here you have also the uh, fuel gauge so uh, it has also and this is a cool feature the Tahoe that it's going from the left to the right so guys about the handlebar handlebar it's not among the widest uh, but it feels very very uh, nicely shaped and uh, made uh, here we can see that also levers both brake levers are very close to the handlebar so uh, they are easy reachable and uh, here we can see also this one has the turning off of the start stop system so uh, it's not a problem if you turn it off here you have the mode button and uh, with this you just go into the menu about the turning circle guys so this is a good turning circle so I am uh, touching the handlebar here as you can see but uh, I am 6 foot 1 or 185 centimeters tall and uh, I was expecting this The riding position on this scooter it's a good one I wouldn't say perfect one uh, because when I turn uh, this handlebar I can touch my uh, leg but uh, I also have to admit that uh, this is gonna be the case on most scooters so uh, it is really not a downside and uh, I think that uh, the riding position it's a good one for me I am 185 centimeters tall or uh, 6 foot 1 so um, you have a lot of uh, space to move on the seat so uh, moving uh, forward or backward is not a problem and um, the seat is quite soft what is the feel on the open road this is not a very powerful machine uh, this 15 horsepower are just enough to reach 100 kilometers per hour and uh, I think that the maximum speed it's a bit more than 100 kilometers per hour so uh, it is not a very fast machine uh, but uh, using it in the city it's a nice one so right now I am at uh, 80 kilometers per hour and uh, it feels uh, quite stable and um, it feels that uh, it has a bit more to go you can very quickly get to 70 so 75 70 80 and uh, it pulls very nicely but uh, it's not a very powerful machine let me check the brakes guys yeah very powerful brakes I have to mention it very powerful the screen 
the screen it's a good one so till 90 95 kilometers per hour it protects uh, very good so um, I didn't feel any buffeting I have to mention it so uh, even though it's not adjustable I think that uh, they did a great job with the screen the mirrors the mirrors are uh, very nicely shaped and are very small but uh, I can see half of me uh, inside this is just like on any bike uh, so I cannot complain here um, they are good mirrors I would say so the real habitat of this machine it's uh, in the cities oh my god man it's in the cities and uh, here you can just feel how easy it is to ride how easy it is to park how easy it is to put it on a center stand and uh, it really shines i would say in the city so uh, everything it's uh, very close to you the handlebar the switches the display everything it's uh, very very well made i would say and uh, the punch that uh, this machine has is the right one for the city so till 50 60 70 km per hour um, i would say that uh, it goes fast it turns very nicely so when you would like to lean you can and uh, having a 14 inch and 13 inch wheel uh, it's the right size in my opinion so they they somehow succeeded with this a bit bigger wheels than average so uh, we know that uh, these scooters uh, previously had uh, uh, smaller wheels but uh, nowadays there is a kind of a fashion to have a bit uh, bigger wheels and um, I can just confirm that uh, it feels right and uh, it feels uh, also safer in my opinion suspension suspension on this one it's a soft one i have to i have to mention it and uh, for me that i am uh, 100 kilos uh, it is a bit too soft so this is gonna be or this is a downside for me it is also suitable for uh, ladies uh, so uh, this is a universal scooter in my opinion um, it is a uh, very stylish one and uh, it shines in the cities so uh, I would say that uh, it is the appropriate machine for the city this one has 9 liters of fuel tank guys and this is a positive side of this scooter I would say so uh, if you think that uh, you can do less than 3 liters per 100 kilometers with 9 liter of fuel tank you can go very far in my opinion Okay guys, let's do the three pros and three cons. So the first pro is the styling, the line, the Italian charm, I would say, uh, and I like it a lot. The second pro is the uh, engine. So uh, the engine, it's uh, a lively one. It is quiet, but uh, quite efficient. And uh, I think that uh, Aprilia did a great job with this engine. So uh, the engine. And the third pro, it's uh, about the uh, 
equipment so this one has uh, a lot of things having the Tahoe a great dash and uh, also LED lights it's just very nice so the equipment on this one it's a good one I would say three cones guys so the first cone it's about the suspension this one has a very soft suspension for me uh, I am uh, a bit heavier than average I would say and uh, it just feels too soft the second cone it's uh, about the dimensions so um, I think that uh, Aprilia could uh, make it a bit bigger uh, at least for somebody that is six foot two uh, and uh, maybe a little bit more so uh, all scooters are a bit too small for for us that are taller guys the third cone it's about uh, the room under the seat so there only goes uh, an open face helmet and uh, I would like to have more room there you know when you're going uh, to the store to get some groceries and so on you need you need room you need it so uh, this is also a downside this was all guys this was Aprilia SR 125 GT this is a city scooter I like it I had fun it was also a pleasure to ride it and uh, this is also the opportunity to say thank you to PVG Copper. So thanks guys, thanks for letting me ride this scooter. Please do me a favor and subscribe and till the next one.